When the heart's natural pacemaker is not working properly, the heart may beat too fast, too slow, or irregularly. A doctor may implant a heart rhythm device like a pacemaker or defibrillator to restore the heart's natural rhythm. These devices are traditionally implanted in the upper chest beneath the collarbone and are about the size of a stopwatch. These battery-powered devices are connected to the heart with a lead, a thin, flexible wire that is traditionally inserted into a vein into a heart chamber. If a heart beats too slow, called bradycardia, pacemakers can send electrical impulses to one or more chambers of the heart to stimulate the heart's rate. An internal defibrillator can sense when the heart is beating too fast, called tachycardia. In this case, the device will send small, painless electrical pulses to correct the heart rate. If the rapid heart rate continues, the defibrillator will deliver a necessary life-saving shock and restore the heart to a more normal rate. If the patient has heart failure and two ventricles of the heart are beating out of sync, a third lead is added, threaded into the left ventricle. The device will send electrical pulses to stimulate the two lower chambers to resynchronize them to improve the heart's pumping ability. Some defibrillators have a fluid monitoring feature that may detect signs of worsening conditions in heart failure patients. This feature works within the device by sending electrical impulses through the heart chambers and lungs. When fluid builds up, the impulses traveling across the heart and lung cavity speed up. For heart failure patients, this fluid could be a sign of worsening heart failure. This device data can then be transmitted to a doctor's office, where the physician is able to make a clinical assessment of the patient and may provide for a more timely clinical intervention.